Well guys, I got a bit of a video for you. Um, I guess you could call this one an unboxing video and an installation video kind of rolled up in one. Well, um, as many of you probably know, this here is an OtterBox brand uh, phone case for the iPhone 4 and uh, 4S. Now, um, the OtterBox uh, cases are supposed to give uh, um, quite a good, strong um, quality of protection for your, your iPhone. You know, against dropping it, against um, normal wear and tear. They are not waterproof. They are not uh, a life-proof case where you can drop them in a puddle. Um, but uh, the OtterBox will um, semi-protect the phone against normal uh, moisture, like uh, if you happen to splash the phone um, or uh, just um, a bit of moisture from the rain. Um, I've had another f case on my phone now for a few months now and uh, when you take the phone out of the case it looks brand new. There's no scratches at all on the screen, there's no wear on the phone itself or nothing. It's like it was um, brand new right out of the box just like it was when it first went in there. Well guys of course um, just give you a little tour of the box. On the back it pretty much tells you the uh, outer box itself. Um, this number one which is this piece here is made with a high impact polycarbonate. The uh, clear part number two here is made with uh, it's a screen protector which basically protects the phone uh, from the scratches. And uh, number three the, the pinkish part here is uh, the silicone which kind of helps to absorb um, most uh, light impacts. And uh, in this one here, being it's not an eBay find, it came from an actual cell phone, uh, you know, uh, store, it does include a belt clip in the uh, kit. So pretty much, uh, guys, uh, flip open the top lid here. Um, little flappy thingies as well. And uh, kind of pulling out the case. So right off the bat you see the belt clip um, apparatus as well as the case. And uh, the case that I did choose is the blue um, camouflage if you will pattern phone case. Now there is several styles of this out here. There is this blue one here. There is a uh, kind of a black and white uh, um, style one. There is kind of like a military camo and um, a line of cases that they call real tree camo which um, kind of does look like uh, tree branches and stuff like that. This case in fact on eBay um, does range in price. Um, I've seen some as low as $34 on like auction and some as high as like $54 um, or so for like, uh, you know, buy it now and stuff like that. So uh, to install your phone into one of these cases, um, the first thing you do is you try to work the silicone away for, from the uh, plastic. Now of course this task probably would be a lot easier if you had nails, but for us that don't have nails, you kind of got to fumble around until you manage to get a corner uh, loose and pretty much work it from there. And pretty much there, you're left with the uh, silicone um, outer casing, if you will, and then the um, plastic uh, inner casing here with the uh, screen protector and the little um, you know cover over the back here. Now to get into that, you just gently pry up on these little tabs on the side here, 
and that splits it up um, apart the uh, the outer shell. So to get these apart, you pretty much just gently pry on these little plastic uh, clippies on the side. And uh, if you've done it correctly, that uh, will split apart the inner uh, shell into um, two pieces. So yeah, in total you have the, the two inner pieces as well as the, the outer uh, silicone. So guys, um, pretty much we'll repeat the process with this case here, just peeling away the, uh, the silicone uh, cover away from the blue, uh, you know, plastic or polycarbonate, I guess is the correct name. You know, again, um, prying up on the little tabs to uh, get the foam out itself. Now, of course, this is the part here where it comes the trickiest, and this is also the part here where you run the greatest risk of breaking your phone because now you have it out of its protective case for you know if you will the first time or one of the first times that you've ever had um, you know your phone now I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to uh, see any of the scratches in here but the scratches you see is in this little plastic thingy here which actually has prevented it from transferring onto the phone Well, you have your um, iPhone out, you know, give her a wipe down, make sure, uh, you know, it's clean, dust free, because why put a dirty phone or a dusty phone back inside a uh, clean case, you know, using a microfiber cloth, never your shirt tail or never a uh, paper towel, always keeping everything, um, you know, clean. So now you slide the uh, phone into the case. Now what I've always done is you slide it face down into the front of the case of course paying attention to where your uh, button is here on the front turn it over and uh, lining up the little prongs here on the uh, the backing with they slide into corresponding here on the front part itself now never force the uh, cases together because obviously if they're being forced together then there's an issue and you run the risk of uh, breaking them Listen for the little snap, and there you go, she's pretty much uh, together. Now giving everything a wipe down again, then work it on back into the new uh, silicone outer shell. Now of course, being this is a new skin or new shell, new case, it is going to be tighter than uh, the one you took off it, and um, you know, more, more tauter, more tighter than what you're used to. So you just gently work your way around, um, working all the all the silicone around the little plastic clippies, all the little plastic edges, making sure everything uh, fits well, fits good. Um, one thing I will say about an actual authentic Otter box is you can't beat the uh, quality. I've seen um, Otter boxes that. Uh, if they weren't knockoff otter boxes, uh, then they must have been made in a bad day at the factory because uh, there's a seam that runs all the way across here. You can you can physically see the seam where it wasn't um, whatever sanded out or polished out. Where on this case you can't even see um, the seam. So yeah, um, be aware when you're buying on uh, online, whether it's eBay or whether it's any other type of auction uh, website, or even um, you know Christmas time, right? You're gonna find those vendors in the mall. Now, hey, they may very well cases may very well be made uh, in an Otter Box factory, but um, you know, pay attention to the quality because if you're paying. 30 40 bucks for a case and it's it's not of proper quality then you're not going to be happy with it so guys uh, pretty much that's how you install a, an otter box on an iphone 4 or 4s now we'll go on over here to the uh, belt clip now it's your standard uh, belt clip has your little uh, 
clippy thingy here for whether you put it on your belt or your lapel or whatever. Now you can clip the phone in um, into the belt clip like this or if um, you know clip it in there like that whatever you choose. Now I always I always carry mine so the screen is facing in so if um, it does get bumped I don't have as big a chance of cracking the screen. And that's pretty much, um, you know, in a nutshell, how she holds together. Now, of course, Otter boxes, uh, being they have, um, being they have such a good reputation for uh, protection and quality and all that, there is a warranty on the case itself. So, if the case ever does uh, break, if um, the phone ever gets damaged while inside an, uh, an authentic Otter box. You get a hold of the company, and now, and from what I am told by both, of course, the uh, salespeople at the mobility store and people who have dealt with OtterBox themselves, there is some coverage for certain um, conditions. Now, of course, like all manufacturers, there are loopholes and fine print and all that good stuff. So, of course, keep your receipt for the case, uh, proving where you bought it from keep your receipt you know and all that good stuff and um, all your packaging you might want to keep for a little while and um, if you are interested in going online go to www.otterbox.com of course that's their website it'll bring up their uh, web page and you can see other otter boxes you can order from them and you can see their product and uh, you know the coloring of their product design of their product Basically, if it doesn't look like an otter box or feel like an otter box, then chances are it's not an authentic otter box. And you buy knockoff for the cheap price, and quite often you'll get the uh, knockoff quality as well. Well, guys, that's pretty much been an unboxing, kind of a semi review, and an installation of a blue camouflaged otter box on an iPhone 4 and 4S. So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.